What's up guys, today I'm going to show you an in-depth process of making a decal with your Cricut as well as applying it to a car window. Okay, so open up Design Space and start a new project. I'm going to click Upload since I'm uploading my own image. We're going to Browse, click on our image file, and then we're going to click Simple since the image is only one color. Now hit Continue and then press Continue one more time. And then we're going to make sure that we save as a cut image and we're just gonna hit the save button. We're gonna look at our recent and we're gonna select the image that we just uploaded and then we're gonna insert it into our project. All right, once our file's in, I'm actually gonna resize this one to four inches at the top and it looks good. So we're gonna click the make it button, make sure everything looks good. And now we're going to turn on our Cricut and we're going to make sure that our cut dial is set to vinyl. Once we've done that, we can press continue and then get our mat ready for the cutting process. All right, we're going to be using Oracle 651 permanent vinyl since this is for a car window. We're just going to cut it out roughly to size and then apply it to the standard grip mat. You can use Oracle 631 if you're going to be making a decal for a wall or something. 651 might peel off your paint. Now we can go ahead and load in our mat. And if you want, you can go into design space and turn on fast mode if your model supports it. And then go ahead and start cutting. Okay, so once your design is finished cutting, it's time to remove the excess vinyl from around the area. You want to start from a corner, make sure you don't lift the back, but just lift the vinyl. Um, you're going to pull it up until you get to your design and slowly pull back, making sure not to pull up any of the cut areas. Those may start coming up. If they do, you can take your finger and just kind of push them down, re-adhere them to the backing. You may even set the vinyl back down and try from a different angle. Just take your time and you shouldn't have too many issues with this. Um, just be really careful of the smaller pieces. Those are the ones that are most likely to come up. And here's our finished product. All right, so now we're going to apply our decal to some transfer paper. We're gonna just cut this out roughly to the size of our decal, just like we did with the vinyl. And we're gonna remove the transfer paper from the backing. Set it on top of the vinyl decal and apply firm pressure to the entire thing. You wanna make sure that all of the vinyl is going to stick to the transfer paper. You can either use your fingers or the scraper tool like I'm doing here. Okay, so now we're going to pull up on the transfer paper with the attached vinyl. Just go really slow. If you notice that a piece is being stubborn, you can just push it back down and then apply some pressure to whatever part isn't sticking to the transfer paper. Usually this is pretty straightforward and you don't have too many issues with the vinyl not sticking to the transfer paper. It usually works pretty well, even on the first try. And here's the completed decal. You can either leave it on the transfer paper or you can reapply it if you'd like to sell these or use them later. I'm gonna apply mine to a car window. So I'm gonna make sure that I clean the surface really well, make sure that it's dry and free of debris. We're gonna take our decal, set it where we think we want it, make sure it looks good, and then we'll start applying some pressure to the entire area of the decal, make sure that everything's stuck on really well and it's not gonna come up when we pull away the transfer paper. Now just slowly pull up on the transfer paper, take your time. If you notice that pieces are coming up, you can set it back down, apply some pressure, and then try again. But as you can see, my decal turned out great. It stayed on, it was actually really hard to get off after the video. And that's it, that's how to make and apply a vinyl decal with your Cricut. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, feel free to leave a comment below. I'll be making some more tutorial videos with the Cricut and my laser cutter and whatever else. So stay tuned for that. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.